Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club. Where nothing bad happened last time, um, and uh, sorry, there, there's some uh, mistakes <laughs> with the game files that make the glitch, I, I don't know how to fix that. Um, I have tried to reinstall the game and stuff like that, but it didn't work, so... But uh, we, I hope it fixes itself, so we will just uh, continue the story from last time where we have baked some cupcakes and it's going to the festival, probably. Isn't that what happened last time? No. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens. Continue. Oh, one more here too, by the way. <laughs> Hello. Okay, there's something really screwy with my game. I can't read that. What? You don't read tongues? <laughs> no. Um, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious of any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... <laughs> my neighbor and good friends since we were children. You know, it's kind of... You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But just the uh, kind of work out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Uh, but if she's going to chase after me like this, I always feel better off running away. How however, I just uh, sat the idle in front of the crosswalk and let yeah pass up to me. Okay, um, it's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by uh, couples and friends groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I always walk to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join in the clubs. I'm perfectly certain just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I knew it. After I pe uh, pick up my things, I start bl uh, stay blindly at the wall looking for an, uh, for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way uh, too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. New kid! Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect, you, uh, expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh... Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked when we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Uh, Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generously, she is a little... What do you come? Uh, what did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the uh, debate club, right? <laughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. 
Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do we have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find a new member for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Mm hmm. Hey, new kid. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least, uh, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I even refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, that's awesome. You're really sweet, new kid. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today makes the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly followed Monica across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I re rarely visit, being generally used by the third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. <laughs> a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, new kid. Mm, all, words except, uh, all words except me in this situation. Escape. Escape, me. <laughs> this club. Is full of incredible cute girls. So let me guess. <coughs> You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Well, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sore attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who has appeared completely more mature and tempt, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into New Kid in a classroom and I decided to come check out the club. And he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I could at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, uh, come sit down, new kid? The girls have a few desks arranged in front... Uh, in form... to form a table. Yu walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm so I'm su <laughs> surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. 
I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki, who would dentally agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find those two. Yul returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You kept the whole set in the cl uh, classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Yeah, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. You uh, faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, new kid, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I read this past few years, I don't really have a good way to answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki like heard suddenly picks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she kept quiet. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What I am saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you and Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the tr uh, frame of a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are, is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign, uh, such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yu goes on clearly passionate about her reading. He seems so reserved and timid since the moment we walked in, but it's obvious, uh, by the way, her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I just basically grabbed something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think it or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Where's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes uh, dart over at me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left, left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with someone? Uh, sometime. N no! Natsuki avoid, uh, avoids her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh... Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your re to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. 
do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yeah. I guess it's the same for Yui. We all sit in silence for moments. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Hmm? Natsuki and Yui look crystals at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um... Mm, nah. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in, participate in together. I did decide to take the, on the responsibility of a vice prince, uh, president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, new cat? Hold on, there's still one problem. Yeah, what's that? Now that we are reaching the most important topic, I uh, bluntly come forth with uh, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Mon Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. All three girls stares back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, I thought. Hm. Um. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, new kid. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the first festival... Mm, I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the uh, pins I need to pay in order to spend every day with those beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I joined the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, new kid? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would have been super pissed. New kid, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You are really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with this, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the, to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. New kid, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class uh, star Monica with my metaphorical writing skills? I already feel an anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yui uh, cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart with the, cl uh, the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yui, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school at the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. 
All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Um. Uh, yes, please. Sure. Oh, what? <laughs> Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. Da -da -da. <laughs> I like when uh, Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. Da -da 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 -da. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Da -da -da -da. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Why does this feel like something that has to do with Natsuki? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I felt the same. I mean, I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is the first time we played this game. <laughs> Something is missing. Ah, sorry. Why? Who? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this game is getting weirder and weirder. But um, I think we'll end this up here before we write the poem. So yeah, this was a little shorter episode than last time, but. Not just like the first episode. Yeah. It so was kind of an we, we take it. We take it days, and then I think. If it does the same thing again, we take the uh, preparation and the festival in one episode together. So we keep it in days and then hopefully no more dies. I mean, uh, glitches. Uh, I mean, nothing. I mean, happy go lucky days. <laughs> so with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.